Aquarians. This is your love readings, Aquarians. Let's see what is happening in Prince Far. For you, Aquarians. Let's look at your love readings. Okay. So, Aquarians, um, this is the month of uh, um bup, 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 March, and this is your love reading. Let's see how this is going to be going for you guys. So, all right, let's see what is transpiring. So, Archangel Shamriel, Archangel Raphael, all the angels of love. Let's see what's coming in for the Aquarians. So, all right, so we see courting man, courting man. So, a lot of you are going to be out on the lookout for relationships, okay? So a lot of uh, you Aquarians are going to be really on the lookout for new relationship, you um, young entrepreneur. You're going to be really looking out for a whole lot of relationships, okay? So let's see what's coming up in the card. And we have um, the energy of uh, the extra uh, situation that is going to be transpiring. So a lot of you entrepreneurs between the ages of uh, um let's say 25 to 50 are going to be out looking for love okay going to be very much out looking for love so that is going to be happening ladies and gentlemen all right so um we're going to be recognizing what is happening so um i don't know how i'm going to do this i think i might just because everyone is just lazy i'm just going to put out the readings so that you all can just go pick up your own reading a lot of people are getting lazy this timeline all right so let's see um what is here so we're going to be blessing the cards. So I always use my energy and um, pure light beams. They stand in their present. This is the love of reading. We're first going to clear our cards. There we go. And we're going to be moving in while we're seeing what is coming up for you guys. That deck is being cleared. All right. So Aquarians, what is coming up in love? Hmm. Okay. All right, so this is the energy of the Eight of Cups. A relationship is not yet over. So a lot of you thought that a relationship is over. No, it's not. Um, there is only some sort of a communication that is going on, um, a quarrel, but the relationship is not over, okay? Then um, we have... Uh, um, this Aries Leo Sagittarius man, a lot of you are having issues with your husband or your partner. That is an Aries Leo Sagittarius man. This man um, is around with everyone. Okay, you're going to be finding that out. He's giving and sharing his love with everyone. So um, expect to find that out. So if you're married to an Aries Leo Sagittarius man, you're going to be finding out that this person have been giving his love to a whole lot of people. Then we see communication is coming at you. Um, and as I said, some of you could be having some sort of a, um, argument in, um, with people. I see some of you are going to decide, I'm letting go of this relationship. Um, then we see the Ten of Wands. Yes, you're going to let go of this relationship with a Sagittarian man for some of you. And then I see um, the energy of this tool of ones you're not giving a cancer you're not letting back a cancer in your life whoever this cancer or the scorpion is i see some of you decide i'm not letting back this cancer in my life then i see the energy of this knight of cups that is offering some of you love so whoever this knight of cups is it can be a pisces person that you are dealing with in the past and you um, end the relationship and then this person is coming back to give you some sort of a love. 
they want some sort of a new start with you so whoever this Pisces person is is coming back showing you love and wants some sort of a new start for you um, with you then we see some of you um, are recognizing um, that a whole lot of conflict in your relationship some of you wants a new start some of you wants to work on your relationship some of you don't want to okay it's up to you three of pentacles i see a lot of you decide it is the hand for you and a sagittarian you have um have enough with this person um this person have been just uh, um creating a whole lot of issues and you have enough with this person so i see that is happening where you no longer wants to um go back to the beginning you are like i have enough with you okay um, then we see a lot of you are going to be fine in love. I see a Pisces is going to, uh, or a Scorpion is going to be coming back in your life, um, saying to you, they want a new start. But um, is that what you want? Is that what you want? So I see a lot of you are in love with a Capricorn. Um, whoever this Capricorn is, I see a lot of you are really in love with a Capricorn. So Whatever is happening and transferring, a lot of you are like in love with a Capricorn. I see you find this Capricorn to be so attractive, so vibrant. You know, I, you know, whoever this Capricorn is, um, you're recognizing that this uh, Capricorn um, is just super, super, um, you know, someone who you have been looking for for a very long time. I hope the light is not too much, ladies and gentlemen, okay? But whoever this person is, is that you have been looking for this person for a very long time. And I see um, definitely that you're hoping that something is going to be happening between you and this person. So let's go in this. We can't do this week by weeks because um, what is happening and transpiring is that this is a love reading. So um, things are going to be happening um some simultaneously for people but what i see is that a lot of you are protecting yourself and decide no longer to work on a relationship it's as if yes um you know it's good i it, this relationship has worked this time out um i don't see any reason why i should continue with this relationship whatever is happening and transpiring and you're like okay this is over it has worked this time out I'm letting this go and I'm moving forward. So be aware of what is happening and transpiring um, for you guys. So it's as if you're like over, you know, um, this could be um, you young um, men or women is saying, you know, it's over. It's good. I've seen enough. You know, I've really seen enough and I'm letting this go. I have enough. I've seen enough. I'm letting this go. It's not working for me. Let me let it go. In the foundation, I see love is going to be coming in. Uh, definitely love is going to be coming in. And a lot of you are hoping to reconnect with a Capricorn. Whoever this Capricorn person is, 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 is if, uh, um, this Capricorn person, whoever this person is, is as if this person is really, you're really into this person. You wish you had not let go of this person. You're seeing the potential of this person now and is recognizing, hey, um you know you know i should have uh, think about the decision that i was making because the decision that i was making in the past uh, um is not what i had expected in the future and i see a lot of you are recognizing that it was better that you stayed with a capricorn i don't know who this capricorn is and i don't know how they affects your world but a lot of you are going to be recognizing that was better that you stayed with a Capricorn. Then I see um, um, the eight, the eight of cups. The eight of cups is always uh, that there was some sort of a conflicts. You could have a new love come into your life. There was some sort of a conflicts. Um, you haven't heard from the person. Not to worry. It's as if you think you know. Is it now ended? you know we were just starting out but no um sometimes you just uh it is a situation where no it's not over sometimes it is just that you are not 
um, um, vibrating or your frequency between you and this person is like a little bit out so don't worry about it it's going to be getting better don't worry about it okay it's going to get better as you um, get in this month um, then we recognize um, a lot of you are going to be recognizing that uh, a Libran wants a new start but you're kind of thinking do I want to give this Libran a new start um, you're really thinking you know I've seen it I've done it with this Libran should I give this Libran a new start um, is there the possibility because there's a there was a lot of communication between you and this Libran but it's as if uh, it didn't go anywhere it did not go anywhere it was a lot of conversation you spoke to this person but it didn't get off the ground okay a lot of you are going to be you're fighting with yourself whether or not you want to go forward with a Sagittarian whoever the Sagittarian man is is 50 years and older whatever the reason why you're fighting trying to figure out whether or not you're going to be going forward with this person is that a lot of you could have received some sort of information about this person because what I'm seeing is that some of you could be finding out that this person has been all over the place uh, with other people and that is the reason why then we have the energy of the six of cups um the six of cups is uh, some sort of a friendship that went bad because uh, um some of you could have had a one night stand with a friend and that has broken up the friendship so you gotta be recognizing that sometimes you have friends it's better to see them as friends than you know jumping in the sack and then it doesn't work out and then you feel as if oh boy why did i do that why did i do that okay so that is going to be transpiring so i see a lot of you are deciding to end a relationship um that this relationship no longer yeah it doesn't do anything for you anymore um so you're deciding to end this relationship and um you know you you have you have gone through all the ropes you have tried to work on this relationship but it didn't work out so you're going to be thinking about ending this relationship a lot of you were you know like having a whole lot of conversation with someone um a lot of hours on the telephone it didn't go anywhere i don't know if you wanted it to go someplace um i see a pisces want a new start with you Whatever is happening and transpiring, a whole lot of you Aquarians, a Pisces wants a new start with you. So I see that is coming up. Um, then I see um, some sort of a communication. I see a lot of you could be meeting. Um, you have been dating and seeing someone and I see a lot of you are really enjoying this. A lot of conversation, um, back and forth. You're really enjoying this. You're seeing a person on weekends, that sort of a thing um that is coming up then i see a lot of you um and aries the sagittarius man is offering you love but it's as if uh, no it's over i don't want to, to start again with you um you're definitely said no you're you're saying no to this person however this aries the sagittarius man a lot of you are like i have enough of you no more um and uh, um you are like uh, yeah no thanks for the offer that you're offering me I am not open um, for the offer that you're offering me. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a situation where you're like, yeah, mm. seen it, done it with you. Um, you, you know, you're never going to change. Whatever you're saying, you're never going to change. I see um, a whole lot of you are communicating with a scorpion. Some of you want a scorpion back in your life. That is coming up. So we are seeing that. Okay. So let's see what is going to be transpiring. So a lot of you um, have the butterfly. And the butterfly energy, it's about you having butterfly in your stomach. Some of you um, is with a Pisces, but there was some sort of a conflict. Some of you is with a Libran, but there is, a, um, you know, you're talking, talking, you have butterfly in your stomach for this Libran, and you're talking, talking to this person, but... And you're not really telling this person or they're not telling you okay then i see um an ex um that is an aries do or sagittarian want to come back 
and you are going to be saying no because you recognize that you have given um, this X enough chances and you are going to be saying no to this X, okay? A lot of you have um, have some sort of a feelings um, for a scorpion, but um, it's as if you're not sure where you are does this person and you don't want to overgone the boundary of saying anything and they don't feel the same about you. So I see this is happening for you guys. So then when we look, I see a lot of information is coming out, the golden mirror. Um, this is wonderful. The energy of the golden mirror is a, a very wonderful energy. It's about you, you know, learning to love yourself or meeting someone who has the same sort of an effect on you. Um, where you're communicating with someone and recognizing how much you have in common. Um, the golden mirror is also showing up for some of you that it is better to end a relationship because there's no need to drag out a situation because it's not, it's not getting any better. Um, and I see a lot of you are protecting yourself from a narcissistic person. And a lot of you, um, a fire sign person is trying to come back and you're saying no, because you recognize, oh, narcissistic this person is so then we have wedding rings union wedding um soul connection um eternal love is coming for um some of you new love is definitely going to be coming in so this is going to be um really wonderful and excited a lot of you are going to be having some sort of a new start um where there was some sort of a, a miscommunication and uh, um, this person is going to be coming back into your life and um, you're going to be picking up there. Some of you are in a relationship and you're trying to figure out whether or not you should stay in this relationship or move forward. A lot of you um, are going to be asked the ends of marriage. Bam, bam, bam. So you are basically finishing this month on a very, very positive note because a lot of you, what is happening and transpiring is that um, someone who you have been dating, seeing for a while is definitely going to be asking you the hands of marriage. And this is going to be absolutely fabulous. So, um, this is really, really going to be good because what is transpiring is that people are now going to be recognizing um, that you are really, really going to be looking at things more seriously than ever. And you are going to be recognizing how um, to recapitulate some sort of a situation. Um, learning to love again is going to be coming up where a lot of you are going to be learning to love again. So this is going to be absolutely wonderful and positive. So this is going to be a seriously, seriously, a really positive energy that is going to be coming up. And a whole lot of transition that is going to be coming in your life. And people are going to be recognizing that, you know, there, you know, you have gone through a rough time in your life, a rough patch in your life. But yet still, you are really, st um, um, really focusing and you're going to be very stable um, again because new love is coming in and teaching you how to love again. So, you know, quick and nice. Um and, you know, if you guys re recognize, um, you know, I, I, I do things quick and nice. I see a lot of you um, uh, men are really speaking about a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. Um, a lot of you, um, it could be same sex, that a lot of you are in love with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. And I see you in conversation with this person. But it's as if you don't know how this person feels about you. But you're always watching this person, looking at the person and trying to figure out, you know, how they see you, in what light do they see you. And this is going to be really wonderful because you're 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 um you're communicating with this person because you want to know, you know, how this person see you and how they um you know do they see you in a relationship? Is a relationship possible between you and this person? So I see all of that is coming out, which is really wonderful. Um, a lot of you are going to be dealing with fire sign people. They're actually your ex um, that wants to offer, you know, wants to return. And you are definitely going to be saying no. And I see a lot of you are going to be sitting on the phone talking to your girlfriend. 
about this person because this person is giving you a lot of uh, and showing you that they have changed and you know they haven't changed you have given them many choices and um there's no re there's no way you're going to be letting them back in your life and i see that this is going to be good because you recognize that these people are this man or this and the person you're seeing the truth is about a leo a lot of you gemini's are seeing a leo for who they are okay and then we have the six of pentacles i see a lot of you gemini's are recognizing um you know maybe this leo could be my soulmate or a twin flame i see a corporation institution is recognizing something about your marriage gemini okay something about uh-huh your marriage um 10 and 4 is 14 some sort of a instable balance um with a leo uh some of you that is in a relaxed summit a leo you're going to be recognizing something a corporation institution is going to be recognizing that a leo have some sort of a um a cut out uh, married to some of you um just for money okay 10 yeah just for money oh my god <laughs> 10 of pentacles so um they're going to be recognizing and i see that you know a, a, um, a corporation institution is going to be recognizing that the leo was only with you for money then we have um you men you men are recognizing something about your marriage okay a lot of you men um you know you have no more regrets that your marriage has end. you recognize that it was not built on stability um yep and a lot of you are not regretting um the heartbreaks because you recognize uh, that this marriage was not built on strong foundation so a whole um um whatever that was transpired there was a whole lot of conflicts in a corporation um it, but it has to do with your marriage um a lot of you could have gone going to see a marriage counselor that sort of a thing you recognize that there is no way um, you are going to be um, balancing out your marriage because your marriage is based on faulty ground. Your marriage is based on um, this person only wanted financial stability from you. So it's not based on love. So a lot of you um, um, Geminis are going to be recognizing in the month of March that your your marriage was not based on love. It was based on materialistic stability. The nine of swords, the nine of swords. So a lot of you Gemini men, um, it's as if a corporation institution is going to be saying to you, like, uh, um, they're going to be finding out something about your marriage. Maybe you're having problems with your marriage. You went to marriage counselor and, you know, this counselor is going to be saying, Gemini, have you ever thought that, uh, this person is not in love with you, but in love with what you have. And I see you men are going to be alert by a corporation. Uh, also, that your partner is um, ne not who they say they are. So, whoever this, this person is, pretend to be someone else. And a corporation institution is going to be alerting you, Gemini, about your partner, okay? So I see now success um, with some sort of a relationship conflicts. Um, we have here conflicts is now over. Um, um, there's no balance and you have no regret and there's no success in um, resolving some sort of a marriage issue. And it's as if uh, um, you're taking it and you're understanding this and you're letting it go. So whoever your partner is, because it's not really showing up here, um, who your partner is. So I see um some sort of a problem um that is going to be transpiring where you Gemini's are going to be recognizing um you know this person had just married to me um for materialistic stability. Okay, I see no regrets though. There is absolutely no regrets. It's as if uh, you know, it is what it is. Let me leave it at that. So there was a whole lot of conflicts um, in your marriage. And um, 
you all went to marriage counselor it didn't work out a lot of you have no heartbreaks you think um you know it's good let me let this go this this needs to be let go and you're seeing that it was not meant to be so a lot of you are recognizing that your marriage or your relationship was not meant to be and you're letting it go now okay so it, it, it's affecting a lot of you a lot of you um then we see some sort of a marriage counselor um and it's as if for some of you police is going to be um civil servant yeah police is going to be coming to the house to end some sort of a conflict and they're going to be advising you that you need to get out of this marriage or this relationship because your partner is only in it for money okay and you're just going to be recognizing you know these people are correct um you know i felt it i kind of feel it i kind of recognize it but i didn't want to see it so a lot of you are going to be recognizing that um then we see um this energy of the nine of swords so um a lot of you gemini a corporation is going to be telling you something about your wife whoever you are um gemini men um it's like government or um someone i up is going to be telling you something about your wife and you're going to be blown out of the waters and i see you have no regrets it's as if um some of you gemini's had applied for some sort of a stay but a letter is going to be coming back that no um this person have to whatever and you're going to be thinking you know maybe it's the best because um you know I, this person was driving me crazy anyway um and i see a lot of you are going to be silent silently be very happy and not heartbroken um and i see some of you who are divorcing um you will receive the child whoever is re divorcing will receive the child let's say that the child was born in a, a country where the mother is not from um you are going to be receiving the child you gemini's whoever you gemini's you gemini's were in a, especially gemini men you're going to be finding out information about your wife that you're not aware of a whole lot of information about your wife is going to be coming out gemini men okay i see you're not going to be heartbroken because you're going to be like wow silently you're happy that the information came out so you can just get out of this relationship um and as you do that you're going to be meeting your um your soulmate like um up to a year from now you will meet your soulmate because that person was just blocking your life whoever that person is uh, was uh, blocking your life okay and they're going to be recognizing that okay so i see palm trees um palm trees um you know this is coming up as a situation where a stability is going to be returned in your life because you recognize that someone was not very honest so some sort of a stability is going to be returning in your life and i see you're going to be recognizing uh, who this person is for some of you um it is your wife a lot of you are going to be recognizing that your wife was not being honest to you i like you someone is going to be letting you know that they care about you um this is coming up this is going to be wonderful for a lot of you who have gone through a bad relationship or, or a bad breakup then i see a lot of you both a lot of you um, is going to be receiving some sort of information from overseas and this is going to be good because they're going to be recognizing um a lot of you could be going on a weekend away if you can just to take a breather from your relationship or you could be going also away and meeting your soulmate and this is going to be good um, so this is wonderful energies that is going to be happening and transpiring. So Cupid the Harrow is here for you guys. Um, this is wonderful. Soulmate Twin Flame, Cupid the Harrow is here. Soulmate Twin Flames. So a lot of you could be meeting up, uh, connecting with your Soulmate Twin Flame 
um, in this time period and this is going to be very 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 good okay so wonderful alignment of energies is going to be coming up where a lot of you are going to be meeting soulmates and twin flames in this timeline so i want to say to a lot of you thank you so much for being here um it is short and sweet i don't think love should be explored you know that's when you're doing a reading for someone it is a very very uh, short and sweet because what is happening in transpiring is that a whole lot of you are recognizing that i am connected in some sort of a relationship um that my partner is not with me for love but they're with me just for the materialistic stability and a lot of you are going to be recognizing this okay that there is no more love to a marriage or a relationship it is only there um and it is only about materialistic stability and a lot of you are going to be recognizing hey uh maybe it is good that i recognize this now and let it go a corporation institution is going to be coming down on a leo so let's say that some of you are in a relationship with a leo they're going to be finding out that a leo has not been honest and i see some sort of a balance is going to be coming back in your world because they're going to be recognizing that a leo is not honest okay and um yeah and a whole lot of conflicts because this corporation and the end is here and I see you're not regretting it because you're recognizing um, what has transpired. You men are going to be balancing out some sort of an issue with a Virgo. Okay. So whoever this Virgo is, because you men and Virgos can have very good relationship because you're also rule on the Mercury. And, you know, a Virgo can be a very good relationship, can also be a soulmate um, because you carry the same um planetary energy mercury communication is very good so a lot of you could be also connecting with a virgo and that is going to be good so it is it is is, is, is this um month of march for you gemini is about stability in relationship it's about recognizing the flaws and it's about information coming out about your wife um for a lot of you men I gotta go. I do love you. <laughs> Please thumbs up and show the love by um, helping the algorithm to pick up these videos. I do love you. Namaste. Oh, mm -hmm.